Uh, okay guys, it's been a while since I did a video, but um, I should be doing a couple in the next uh, few days. But um, this video is about the Cool Master Hatfield uh, 922. Uh, I got it back from the client to uh, install no Noctua NHU12P Special Edition 2. Um, I thought it would be a really easy uh, thing to do because the half has a a, uh, a hole here to put your uh, back plate. But the problem was that the Noctua back the problem is it's uh, kind of thick, so it wouldn't fit under the uh, the motherboard back plate. Uh, it w sorry, it wouldn't fit between the um, the motherboard itself and the uh, tray. Um, so what I did is I cut. I had to cut the uh, the hole and make it bigger. As you can see here, it's, I think it's a pretty good job. But here was the uh, original uh, metal sheet, and now it extends about. Uh, a centimeter more I cut. I think this picture shows really well uh, the problem. The faint line is where the hole used to go through and uh, the other line is where I had to cut it to. I will now take you through the installation process of the CPU cooler. So first off what you do is you ground yourself by touching your case uh, while the uh, your power supply is plugged to the wall outlet. Uh, Next, you can remove your old CPU uh, cooler and uh, clean your CPU with a clean rag uh, with some a little bit of uh, rubbing alcohol. You can also clean the uh, bottom of your CPU cooler. Uh, next, install the back plate with the four uh, provided screws. Put the four uh, plastic spacers and on top of these put the two uh, provided br brackets. You can put those either on the left and the right or on the top and the bottom. That will change the orientation of the CPU cooler. Next, secure the brackets with the provided screws. After that, uh, mount the two brackets on the CPU cooler and glue the four rubber uh, anti-vibration strips on the fins. I'll put a thin layer of uh, thermal paste on the CPU and install the uh, CPU cooler itself. Okay guys, uh, I just put back the motherboard in the uh, case um, and I think it looks good. Uh, it fits, definitely fits in uh, height. Let's see the back pipe. We can definitely see that if I hadn't cut the uh, motherboard tray, there would be no way the uh, CPU backplate would fit between the uh, tray and the motherboard itself. Uh, I think I'm pretty much done with this now. I got the fans installed. These clips are actually kind of easy to install. I, I thought they'd, they'd be hard, but it's pretty easy. There's a nice slots for them. Um, the cable management is pretty much the same as before. Um, it's pretty hard to do a nice cable management with a uh, non-modular power supply so I just tucked all of these here. Um, the client wanted a, an extra Firewire and uh, USB, so that's why there's a bunch of uh, uh, grayish uh, cables there. Other than that, other than this part here, everything is pretty clean. Um. Okay. So I'll see if it it should run fine, but I'll test it out and I'll review this. I'll probably run. Prime 95, see the temps and everything. So, uh, 
it is a really, really silent uh, computer. It's not much. Uh, oh, sorry, that was the uh, video card fan. But anyways, yeah, it's not much louder with this um, cooler. This fan here is probably one of the uh, loudest in the case. We've seen how to install it. We've seen how silent it is. Uh, but now s let's see how it performs. So what I did is I run uh, a 10 minute uh, idle period uh, to get the uh, average idle temperatures on all four cores. Uh, to get the temperatures I've used uh, real temp. Uh, then using Prime 95s and uh, in-place large FTTs, uh, we run 10, 10 minutes tests to get the average 100% uh, uh, load temps. Um, the room temperatures were uh, similar in all the tests uh, I've done, so um, uh, let's see the results. Oh, and also I compared the, the Noctua's cooler uh, result with uh, my liquid cooling uh, <coughs> uh, results. Uh, but I would just like to say that because the two computers are not the same, you know, it's not the same case, it's not the same, uh, the exact same CPU, it's not the same motherboard, it's not the same RAM, it's not the same everything. Um, the results uh, are not to be, they're not really uh, scientifically uh, correct to compare the two computers, but it's just to give a in order of how good it is or how bad it is. <clears throat> okay, so as we can see here, I've run uh, the test at 2.83 gigahertz and also at uh, 3.0 with the i7-920. Um, so we can see that the Noctua performs a lot better than the stock cooler uh, and it performs similarly to the water cooling um, setup. So we can, I can probably say it's a great cooler uh, for somebody. It's a great cooler for somebody that doesn't want to go uh, really extreme and to go with water cooling. But uh, for somebody that really wants water cooling, water cooling would probably be better. But it is uh, a little bit harder to do, but it's a lot more fun to do too, I think. So uh, that pretty much wraps the. Uh, Noctua review installation uh, guide uh, video. I will let you guys with a couple of photos of uh, Noctua. So, uh, see you guys soon.